Good morning. We are happy to welcome our parishioners and guests to St. Joseph's as we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord. These are today's announcements. The parish office will be closed this Monday, May 30th for Memorial Day. There will be no 8.30 Mass on Saturday, June 4th. Remember your father with a Father's Day Mass. Envelopes are in the entrance of the church and in pews for you to make a Father's Day Mass in remembrance for your father. Father Wilhelm will be the celebrant for this Mass, assisted by Deacon Vaughan, and I am Julia, your lector. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate Holy Mass. Please join us in singing your opening hymn, Lo, He Comes with Clouds Descending, in the front inside cover of your black hymnal. Lo, He Comes with Clouds Descending. together to celebrate this holy solemnity of the ascension of our Lord. And on this day, we honor our graduating seniors from Devil's Lake High School and our parishioners, our good young men and women who will be receiving their diplomas today. And so as they come to make this beautiful day and walk with the Lord, they start with the Lord. And so as we are here today, to worship our God, asking always for direction. And that's the way of the ascension, always looking up. Look to the Lord and then do what he asks. So as we enter into this Mass today, let's look to the Lord and do his work. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Let's now prepare our hearts as we know we need God's healing 
We call to mind our sins, ask the Lord for forgiveness and his strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Hand of the Father, have mercy on us. O you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joy, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before us in glory, the body is called to follow in hope through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now for our scripture readings. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I, dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, by appearing to them during the 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting them, 
he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the time or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, Suddenly, the two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is not to shout a joy, a blare a trumpet for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shout a joy, a blare a trumpet for the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now once for all, he has appeared to the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice, just as it is appointed that men and women die once. And after this, the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Therefore, brothers and sisters, 
since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary. By the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is, his flesh. And since we have a great, a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a, a sincere heart and an absolute trust. With our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our body, bodies washed in pure water, let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope. For he who made the promise is trustworthy. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please stand for the gospel. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Luke glory to you O Lord Jesus said to his disciples thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We just heard from the conclusion of St. Luke, and it's the beautiful conclusion of our Lord's life here on earth. And what happened is as they went out to Bethany, we know from the Gospel of St. Matthew, our Lord, his parting words were this, Go therefore and baptize all nations in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Teach them everything. Remember, teach them everything I have commanded you and know that I'm with you until the end of the world. And then our Lord gives instructions that we hear today. Stay in town until the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Let's face it, the apostles were afraid. They just saw, as we have this beautiful stained glass window, and I like to point it out, every time we celebrate the great feast of the ascension of our Lord, there it is in stained glass splendor. As he ascends into heaven to go to the Father, the love of God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son gives forth a beautiful gift, a promise, that God will be with us always, and it's the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
But do you know, even though these apostles saw the Lord, they walked with him for three years, and then he rises from the dead, and for 40 days, he's with them. He appears to them. He gives them instruction. And they should be on fire and ready to go, but do you know what? They were not. <laughs> they were still afraid. Do you know, maybe you good graduates, you might not think about it, but you know, um, as you are making transitions in your life, this is one huge transition. It's not moving from one school to the other. It's not going to play any games and that you're nervous before a game or before any kind of performance or anything that you've done or getting a new job. This is really a huge transition in your life that you make from living in your parents' home to move into different directions in your life. And it's scary. It's scary. You're going to have lots of fears and scares in your life. I'm here to tell you that the apostles who knew the Lord were still afraid. But the Holy Spirit came upon them and something happened to them. They were transformed. They were changed in a way that they knew that they could go out to make those way in their life. But God would always be with them. And he says in this beautiful reading today, there's a word that I think is very important, and it says this, that all of us are to be witnesses to this. We are to be a witness. Now, I'm not talking about Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm talking about Catholic Christian Witnesses. I want you to think about, up until now, how have you shown forth in your life what's important? I want you to think about what you have shown forth. As you go through, all of you have made beautiful accomplishments. I mean, the way that I can keep um, track with all of you, thank God for your parents as they put stuff on Facebook. I tell you, if I didn't look at Facebook, I wouldn't know half the stuff that goes on in our community. Thank you, parents. They really show forth a lot of things. You're involved in many things. But this class, I want to tell you, is particularly special because many of you have gone through some great struggles this last year. One of your classmates lost their father. Two of your classmates have lost their grandparents this last week. And in the midst of all of those things and all of the struggles, all of the fears, here you all are before Christ today and you're making a witness to all of us that you show forth that God is important, that here we come together to give ourselves to God and ask for direction in our life because we are going to make a lot of different footsteps. And how you make as a witness is very important because one way you show it in the way that you live out your faith. One of your classmates came into the Catholic Church this year, and I was very proud of him because he wasn't only going to school, he was going to religion class like many of you had to, but he was coming in to receive the sacraments. What a witness to your classmates that you see God working so beautifully in each other. I want you to think about how up until this point you have witnessed to your faith. Many of you come to Mass, and I'm very proud of you. I see you, and that brings great joy to me. Some of you are great witnesses to the prayer life, and that you have made a good prayer life and your way to begin your life, that you know God and you can speak to him. But one of the things is that when push comes to shove, what is that going to look like when you leave here today? What is it going to look like next week? Oftentimes, when I have our little children, when they get confirmed, they usually say, and third graders making these decisions, well, I'm all done with religion class. My prayer is that I will see you more often than when you get married. Because I suppose many of you will get married. And God, please, that you will make a witness by getting a Christian marriage in the church. I pray that. 
And as you make those good decisions, you make a witness. But you're going to go to school. What's going to happen next week? What's going to happen when school begins? What's going to happen three or four or five or six months from now? Is God going to make an important part in your life? So I want you to think about how you will witness to your faith in the way that you live out your Christian life. Two, I want you to think about ways that, as we're witnesses, that we have to make sacrifices. I want you to think about how you do make a sacrifice. It's the moral life. It's the way that you make a decision when you are up against something. How is that? Sometimes it can be when you go to college to try new things. I remember I was so nervous. I was at a party when I was in high school, graduate, and someone had pot. No, when I say that, it's like, big deal. But that was a big deal. And they said, you should try. I go, um, I was thinking if I tried it, someone saw me. It's going to get back to my parents. I don't want to do that. It was scary for me. But what I did is I avoided it because I had a holy fear. I don't know where this is going to lead. You will have all sorts of things offered to you. Relationships. And that's one of the things that's a huge thing. That you be honorable in all of your relationships. Sometimes you have to make strong decisions to not enter into certain relationships that go further because one of the things, once you make a mistake with somebody, as we say, that's not your spouse, one of the things that happens that sticks with you for the rest of your life. Who wants that to be a part of the stuff you have to endure through your life? Making a beautiful witness in morality. Third thing that I want you to think about is your family. You know, oftentimes they make great sacrifices. And sometimes when we're young, we don't really realize it until we're away. As I have always said, and I say it all the time, it's incredible how wise all of you get within one year's time. <laughs> when you're out on your own in different places, how you see what your parents really have done for you. Thank them with all that you have. They've put on some great parties for you. Last night, I was at some great parties. And I have to tell you, Seth, you had a great party last night. And to come on over to your house, and one of the great things that I saw in you is you came out and you greeted every one of us who came. And with great excitement, it wasn't like, hi, how you doing? Here's your gift, thank you. And walk and put your gift away. Greet every person that comes to your party today as you go out of your way, that they made a sacrifice to see you, to congratulate you. It's one of the things that you start to see how other people around you have come to do good things for you. Never forget the word, thank you, and especially to your parents and to others. And never forget that beautiful gift of, I love you, mom and dad. Never ever leave until you say that to your parents before you leave. <laughs> even if you go to work, even if you go to college, no matter where you go, because that's a beautiful gift that you have from within you to give thanksgiving for the blessings you've received. Love from God, love given to you, that kind of kindness and love to be shared with one another. I just want to say is that this graduating class has been exemplary as I've seen that I've gotten to be with you, some of you, I've baptized, and it's incredible to see you adults. And my prayer for you is that as you continue to adult <laughs> and get out into the world, that you continue to learn from struggles and mistakes, that you don't give up, you don't fall away, but you keep focused with God. And as God made a very great promise to us, I'll be with you always. You can always turn to the Lord, no matter what happens in your life, no matter how tough it is, God's always with you. And that's the thing I want to communicate to you the strongest today on this Feast of the Ascension. God is always with you. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's stand together. Dear family and friends, let's turn to profess the beautiful gift of our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, even the apostles were afraid, but you made a guarantee that they would never be abandoned, that we stay close to you. Thank you for these young men and women, our graduates today, as they have been witnesses and will continue to witness to your love, to your kindness, to your teaching. Hear the prayers that we present to you this morning. For bishops and priests commissioned by Jesus at his ascension to be his witnesses to the ends of the earth, may they be filled with the Holy Spirit as they carry out their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national, state, and local leaders, and all who are in positions of authority. May God empower them to speak the truth in love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have given their life in service to our country, and for all of our veterans who have died, whom we honor on this Memorial Day weekend, may God grant them eternal rest and peace with him in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Devil's Lake High School class of 2022, may God bless them as they celebrate their accomplishment and prepare for their next stage in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are responsible for the building of our St. Mary's Chapel and Learning Resource Center, may God guide them as they build a facility fit for learning and the worship of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died in our parish, especially Stacy Jansen, Karen Lear, Edwin Geezer, Jeff Huber, Phil Steffen, and Irene Ewert, and for Richard Berg, whom this Holy Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our Father, You set us in life to move forward. And as the apostles looked up to the sky, the angels said, men and women of Galilee, this Jesus has gone to his place. Now, take what you have learned and go to the world. And so, Lord, we pray for these graduates as they go into the world. May they witness to your love, your joy, and your kindness by the way they live their lives, as you live and reign in our hearts forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now for our offertory.
Please join us in singing your offertory hymn number 805 in your hymnal, America the Beautiful, number 805 in your hymnal.
family that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, today to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts, Jesus ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim and sing. begin the Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have saved us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension, we offer you, Lord Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John Folda, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Richard Berg, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. And let us remember our loved ones who have gone to God especially in these last three weeks from our parish. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with all of the apostles, especially Saints Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your church peace in unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold Jesus, the true Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Joanne, would you come? As we have people in the choir loft, I'll have, jo I'll have Joanne's daughter come forward and give Holy Communion. Please join us in singing our communion hymn, O Sacrament Most Holy, number 390 in your black hymnal. O Sacrament Most Holy, number 390.
join us in singing number 400 in the black hymnal, O Lord, I am not worthy, number 400. singing number 526, Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all. Number 526.
I'd like to call first the Knights of Columbus to come forward as they have a presentation for every one of our graduates today. and that you would have them in every vehicle that you go to. As you switch cars throughout your life, take that clip with you. They have been blessed by Father Wilhelm. Some of them are St. Michael clips, and some are St. Christopher. And they'll be with you forever, we hope, and keep you safe wherever you go. Our second gift is we have a, a monetary gift for all of the seniors that have been altar servers throughout their school years. And I will call them forward as soon as Dave is done presenting the clips. Very special that you've served the altar for the entire 12 years of your education. You serve not only the parish, you serve Father, and you serve our Lord, of course, when you serve the altar. So first of all, we have Jenna Gerhardt. And at the end, we'll clap for each and then have them stay up. Sure. Andrew Hammond. Ben Heilman. Derek Kitchens. Jolia Kraft. Kaya McLaurin. Caleb Schneider. Isabel Thompson, Hannah Vaughan, and Avery Van Steenvoort. A $50 gift from the Knights of Columbus, your local council, 1779, for being altar servers through your senior year. Thank you. As it is important that the Knights, for you who are servers, our parish church also would like to give you 
a hundred dollar check uh, for your service at the altar. Every one of you have served so faithfully and it's beautiful when I see our older people coming up to serve and it's so beautiful to see these as we've trained them and as they served at the altar. What a beautiful gift and an example that you have given to all of us of your love and your devotion for the Mass. And so, I have one for Jenna, Andrew, Ben, Derek, Jolia. Got to make sure I get the checks so you don't get two. There. Miss McClure. God's blessings to you. And we have just another presentation, and I'd like to call Renee Hammond forward to offer um, our little bags that we have for those who attended religious education. And I have to say is that we, as priests, got to be with their teachers. I'd like the teachers to come forward who taught that. So if you can come forward, Mrs. Heilman, you're here. Mrs. Kitchens. And it's what a beautiful gift it is, is that these teachers spent this time and they have been fabulous because we've talked about a lot of things and it was good that we dug into stuff, stuff that's hard. And as I always say, any question about the Catholic Church, no matter what it is, we're not afraid to answer it because we have the truth of Jesus Christ. We have the fullness of the faith. Don't ever, ever forget that. And so as you come forward, uh, thank your teachers, and we'll have the beg for you, and then we'll have you come right on up here, and we'll clap for you, all of you at the end. Okay? Okay. As a token of your dedication... Father Wilhelm, Father Wirth, Deacon Ken, Deacon Wagen, and the Religious Education Program have a gift for you to take on your new journeys. When I call your name, please come forward. Jenna Gerhardt, Andrew Hammond, Ben Heilman, Derek Kitchens, Jolia Kraft, Valerie Longy, Kaya McLaurin, Caleb Schneider, Parker Swanson, Isabel Thompson, and Hannah Vaughan. I just appreciate it as we've spent time with you and to learn the faith and thank you for keeping with us. Next year we only have one junior. That's it. That's going into the senior class. So if there's any parents out there, make sure you send your seniors next year to religious education. We have a wonderful program and it helps to engage our young people in the faith. And so congratulations to you and thank you from Renee and myself, your teachers, and from our parish. God's blessings to you. And if you could return to your pure, I'd just like the uh, seniors to stand, please. I'd like to offer a blessing to you. My dear seniors, as you stand here, as I've said, so beautiful and handsome, 
as you come as young people, continue to grow more deeply in life each day. Open your hearts and your souls to God, and he will continue to guide you. And I ask you to bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Lord Jesus Christ, on this holy ascension, you said to us, go forth, and we are to take you wherever we go. Watch over these seniors, and we give thanks for the gift of their life, the gift of the sacraments they have received, and the way that they will serve you with their lives. Watch over them, protect them. May their sorrows be small, their joys always forthgiving, and may you continue to remind them, Lord, that you love them. And may Almighty God bless you, my dear seniors, as you continue on in life, open your heart and your soul to God, and he will always bring the deepest joy, the deepest peace, and his abiding presence. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Face people. May I introduce to you the class of 2022. Let's all stand together and have our final prayer. Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty everlasting God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hannah Wagen, and if you could please come forward, and the Wagen family. Hannah is our server for this month of May, and we have one more server of the month of June, and so I'd like to read this as you receive the ultra server of the month. Hannah is the daughter of Deacon Jeffrey and Letha Vaughan, and has been an ultra server since the third grade. As an ultra server, she has attained the highest rank within the Knights of the Altar, the rank of Chevalier. A senior graduating today from Devil's Lake High School, Hannah serves as president of the Honor Society. She has been active with the Firebirds academic team as co-captain in athletics through cross country. Hannah is a member of the Students Against Destructive Decisions, serving as an officer. She has also been involved in music through piano, flute, and vocals. Outside of school, Hannah is active in precision rifle shooting sports, competing at several national matches, including the Junior Olympics and 4-H. Hannah enjoys writing, and her essays have won state and national competitions through the Catholic Daughters and Knights of Columbus and the VFW. Hobbies include hunting, target shooting, photography, baking, and spending time with her parents, her siblings, friends, and family, and her dog, Olive. She has been employed through the summers as a lifeguard with the Devil's Lake Park Board. She has also been a reliable babysitter for many years. Following graduation, Hannah plans to pursue a teaching degree in elementary education at the University of Mary. And Hannah is a proud alumnus of St. Joseph's Catholic School, and so I'd like to read the award. Hannah Ruth Wagen, the altar server of the month. May the Lord help you to follow him in your life's vocation with the same loving attention and care that you have shown him in your parish. As we have prayed with you, so we shall pray for you in appreciation of these last 10 years. And so I congratulate you, dear Hannah. God's blessings to you. you. 
And now we have the family of the month to Jeffrey and Letha Vaughan, who have served an inspiration to our parish community and council by supporting and strengthening Catholic family life. And so, congratulations to you, Jeffrey and Letha Vaughan. God's blessings to you. Hannah, may Almighty God bless you for your good and noble work that you have given. And as you continue to be strengthened through your life as a Catholic, may God continue to shower you with his many blessings, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join us in singing our closing hymn, Faith of Our Fathers, number 575 in your black hymnal. Faith of Our Fathers, number 575 in your hymnal. <laughs>
Yeah, the first practice I was going to use. Do we know? Oh, let me take a look at this. Sunday, 10.30, Lecter, Michelle Klaus. I would just reuse this box yeah. once you get that one. Just you know, if you're, if you have to destroy that one, you're okay. Because oh yeah. <laughs> oh, morning. Are you the reader for ten thirty? So it's going to be the second version, the second reading. For this. There's two options for the second reading. Do the one from Hebrews. Okay. And so first reading. And this one. Okay. And we'll slide this back here. Does that need to go to the back? Okay, but they're going to... You want to put this on the Cretans table? Up in the sanctuary? Yeah, and somebody can take my chalice too. Here, if you want to take that. I thank you, Linda. I know this is frustrating, but I thank you very much. Scary, chaotic. Choose your adjective. La di 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 tum di di da tum. Okay. I took my watch already. I gotta keep track of time here. Are you done with the fridge? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> seek cure my sickness and wash away my defilement, give light to my blindness, enrich my poverty, clothe my nakedness, and see the bread of bread, bread of angels, the king of kings, the lord of lords, and such reverence and humility, such attrition, devotion, such purity and faith, attention as are conducive to the salvation of my soul. Parent that I may pray that I receive not only the sacrament of God's body and blood, but also the reality and power of that sacrament. So receive the body of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, which is married and incorporated into mystical body and counted among his members. Almost loving Father, grant that I may gaze forever upon the unveiled face of your beloved Son. May for a proposal receive to unveil of these species who lives and reigns forever and ever. My intention is to celebrate Mass and consecrate the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the right of Holy Roman Church and the praise of Almighty God and all the Church triumphant, my good and that of all the Church militant, for all commended themselves to my prayers in general particular. For the parishioners of St. Joseph's Parish and the repose of the soul of Martin Ewart, and for the welfare of Holy Roman Church. Amen. And the Almighty and Merciful Lord grant us joy, peace, and amendment of life, room for true repentance, grace, and consolation of the Holy Spirit, and perseverance in good works. Okay. <laughs>